Could this be the end for Google as we know it? Three months ago, Microsoft revealed to us its new AI-powered Bing search engine, an edge browser that would change search as we know it and threaten Google's whole business model. And today, after great engagement and feedback from a limited preview, the waitlist has been eliminated and it has finally been released to the public. Microsoft aimed to create something better than traditional search, where we usually would have to sift through links after searching a query, hoping that we find an answer. Their solution to this problem was this new AI Bing, powered by GPT-4, the hallmark product of OpenAI, the company they recently invested $10 billion in. This new version of Bing will literally answer your questions using natural language so that searching through links is a thing of the past. Not only this, but it provides citations for the info it provides. It can even create things. Somebody go check on Google. There are so many features in Microsoft's new product. And on this episode of AI Focus, we get into it all as I try out the new Bing for myself. So sit back and watch how the world will move into the new era of technology. Well, first I had to download it because why would I have it already? Okay, so there are three ways this new search engine is different from how we've been doing it in the past. First, Bing will have not only text search, but will feature video and image answers with multimodal support coming soon. The human brain processes visual info about 60,000 times faster than text, and Bing has always tried to capitalize on that with visual tools like knowledge cards and visual search. And now they're offering the same experiences in chat. They claim they're introducing richer and more visual answers, including charts, graphs, and updated formatting of answers. Before we move on, I'm gonna quickly try these features out, if you don't mind. Okay, here you see the new Bing chat. Now I'm just gonna ask chat to give me a chart representing the demographics of the United States and see what happens. Something pops up that says, searching for the demographics of the United States. Sure, I can help you with that. Here's a chart that represents demographics of the United States based on the latest census data. You can see all the percentages listed in this physical chart. This is crazy. And then there's a nice little paragraph to conclude what I just saw. And at the bottom, you can see the citations. This is pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. Now I'm going to ask chat to show me this info in the form of a pie chart. And it says, okay, here's a pie chart that shows the percentage of each race and Hispanic origin in the United States population. Now it says your image is generating. And wow, not just one, but I have four different pie charts here. Wow, powered by Dolly, this is, hey, this is impressive. Okay, Google, watch your back. Now we're just gonna try a regular search and see what comes up. What is a giraffe? So here we have the usual search interface, but what's new is this section over here where you can see a clear visual representation of what's going on, different facts. Then there's Bing's image creator. This makes Bing the only search engine with the ability to generate both written and visual content in one place. And now, Image Creator has been expanded to 100 languages so that everyone can join in on the fun. Let's take a look at it ourselves, shall we? So here I am in the Image Creator powered by Dali, which is another OpenAI company. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type a prompt into this toolbar and I'm gonna watch an image pop up. So my prompt is realistic white humanoid robot reaching out to a human in an otherworldly landscape. Landscape is dominated by purple hues and create and now i'm patiently waiting and you can see four images here that bing image creator has created let's see what the results are all right this is the first image second image you can see the hands the weird hands that's how you know it's an ai picture when the hands are weird and then this is the third picture and this is the fourth i love the purple hues but it's not exactly what i asked for but maybe there's just something wrong with my prompt i'm gonna try one more and see what happens so this prompt is realistic winged greek god falling from the sky let's see what happens now and we patiently wait again Ooh, these are way better let's look at them this is the first one with the weird hands oh these hands are disgusting but i love these wings and another one and another it's pretty cool, but Bing's image creator needs some work. Um, fine tuning these hands and feet and faces even. I see a lot of mistakes. I don't know if it's Dali or the image creator, but it's pretty cool for something that everyone can use. And I'm gonna play around with it some more and maybe improve my prompting technique. Maybe that's the problem. But moving on, this leads us to our second major way 
that Bing challenges our idea of search, its integration with Edge and chat features. Second, Microsoft Edge will be redesigned as the first with AI and the only browser with Bing built into it. Changes involving Edge are going to be rolled out over time, and Microsoft says you'll notice a sleeker look. This would be nice because Microsoft browsers have usually been the browser for your grandmother, who doesn't know how to install anything else. Their new look will include rounded corners and semi-transparent visual elements. Before we continue, if you're enjoying this content and want to stay updated on all the latest AI news and updates, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. Now back to the video. Microsoft says two highly requested features have been the ability to save your chat history and share and export it. Coming soon, users will be able to resume earlier chats and return to previous chats with their chat history feature. And when you open a Bing chat result, the chat will move to the edge sidebar while you browse. They're also working on keeping chats more personalized by bringing context from earlier chats into new conversations. Also coming soon will be the ability to export and share chat history. This will come in handy when you want to share your conversation on social media or integrate it into Microsoft Word. What's really cool is the improved summarization feature for long documents. With this, dense online content from long form websites and PDFs will be much easier to consume. Also coming soon is something called Edge Actions, where say if you wanted to watch a certain movie, Actions in Edge will find and show options in the chat sidebar and then play the movie from where it's available. And the Compose feature in sidebar can also now tailor drafts based on feedback you give, like tone, length, phrasing, and more. Now let's get into the third and final feature Microsoft has blessed the public with. Third, Bing will open up platform capabilities so that third parties can build on top of Bing to help complete tasks and take actions on their queries. For example, if you're looking for a restaurant to have dinner at, Bing will be able to use OpenTable to get you a reservation. With Wolfram Alpha, you can create incredible visualizations and get answers to complicated science or math questions directly from chat. Microsoft is currently working with OpenAI to make this process as seamless as possible for developers and they say it will be a game changer in the world of search when it debuts at Microsoft Build later this month. Responsible and safe AI seems to be one of the highest priorities of the world right now. And Microsoft stresses that responsible AI is at the center of every innovation they are bringing. I mean, what else would they say? They added that having Bing in limited preview gave them the ability and confidence to expand their product to more users, citing innovation and learning in the open as a responsible approach. Together with OpenAI, they claim to have developed safeguards against harmful content based on what they're learning and the team continues to address misinformation, content blocking, and data safety. In the 90 days since users have been experiencing Bing in the limited preview, They've engaged in over half a billion chats and have created over 200 million images with Bing Creator. According to Microsoft, Bing now has 100 million daily active users and daily installs of the app have increased four times since launch. The question is, will you be one of them? If so, what does this mean for Google? Let me know in the comments. If you want to learn what Google has planned in response, click that video on the screen. And thanks for visiting AI Focus.